What's good guys, in this video EA just dropped a patch and it's going to change everything about Madden 23. We're going to be going through the patch notes in this video. Now, if you guys want to get access to my ebooks, we're going to have updates for all of our ebooks based on this patch. As it changes, it will significantly change the meta, it will significantly change a lot about Madden 23 and we're going to go through it in this video. So again, if you want to get all my ebooks, join the Patreon, we're going to have 14 ebooks after tomorrow. We have updates to all those ebooks coming out this week and early next week, as well as um, uh, private messaging stuff so you can get questions answered, all that stuff. So if you want to become a Patreon member, 10 bucks. link is in the description. Let's talk about the updates. Main thing I want to look at is gameplay updates. We're going to go through these real quickly. We're going to have videos all day long on the channel that explain how these updates are going to be shifting some of the meta, as well as, like I said, if you want to get our eBooks, we're going to update everything for you guys so you have everything that you need to be successful. Blocking. Fix an issue. Here we go. Uh, fix an issue with pass block targeting resulting in an interior pass rusher being left unblocked when the defense would use a specific pre-snap setup in the 4-3, even 6-1. So 6-1 just got patched, okay? We're going to be going over this. The core the course, um, fundamentals of defense are still going to be effective. Big Nickel over G, mark my words, Big Nickel over G will be one of the best defenses after this patch. Okay, I guarantee you that. So 4-3, even 6-1, it doesn't say that they block the edge blitz. It just has the interior stuff. So I'm sure 4-3, even will still be good. Fix an issue with pass block targeting that would allow edge rushers, here we go, edge rushers to be unblocked when pinching the defensive line and bringing on the safety on nickel overstorm uh, brave. So um, this right here will be very interesting to test. This has really honestly been, I think, the best defense in the game for uh, the last month or so. And um, my my th two cents on this is you're still going to be able to get pressure out of nickel over. It may be done a little differently, but it does look like they did patch this formation a little bit. So something to kind of keep in note. Improved block and release logic for tight ends so they don't release so quickly in scenarios where the, there's a rusher for them to block. Also improved blocking animation so they are better at engaging impact blocking rushers. We'll test this. Um, delay routes to the tight end could be back. There's one out of bunch and wide receiver cross, uh, which we'll come into in just a second. But wide receiver cross does have a blue route to the tight end. So basically, blue routes might be back. We'll be testing that. Uh, here we go. This is a good one. Fix an issue with pass block targeting, allowing an unblocked rusher when the defense would pinch their linebackers and sit a linebacker in a gap in the dollar play and spinner. Um, it basically, hopefully what, I, hopefully what this means is spinner got patched. My gut tells me they just patched... Um, they just patched the, uh, the the disengage logic of spinner. But I think your slot corner blitzes are still going to be really good in this game. So we'll see. Um, but we'll, we'll test this out. But spinner hopefully got a little worse. I do think that spinner, like, I feel like this blitz from spinner is good. Um, but where it was so good was it was so fluky. So hopefully this added a layer of consistency to being able to pick up this blitz. All right, here we go. Change QB contain assignment logic so the second level defenders stack linebackers and defenders lined up in those positions will not be able to be assigned to QB contain. So essentially they just basically made it so that you can't contain blitz. We'll test this out. Uh, my gut tells me there's still going to be some ways to get pressure with contains after this. So, But all in all, it seems like they're patching the loop blitz uh, is kind of the primary thing they're trying to do here. Fixed an issue with pass block targeting, allowing a defensive end to be unblocked out of nickel over blitz. Uh, I w um, Yeah, this was one of the other things that made nickel over so well because you basically had to block your running back even if they were only blitzing three, right? So uh, that was part of the thing. So we'll see how this works. I'm sure uh, I can see this being an easy fix for them. So they probably did fix this. This is what I wanted to get into. I was going to do a video yesterday after I saw they released Harold Carmichael. Uh, this could be literally break the game we will test this all out and have videos for you this could very well break this game open okay offensively here's why fixed in the beta we had an incredibly fun difficult to play defensive game we're shifting significantly to more of an offensive game based off of what we just read about the blocking patches and now what we're about to read about catching okay Fixed an issue causing multiple mid-air interaction animations to trigger before the ball arrived, causing the receiver to miss the ball. Great. 
okay? Tuning to catching, um, they will catch less tip balls. This is a great thing. Um, what we don't see in here about catching is it doesn't say corners will catch more tip balls. It does not say that corners will catch more tipped interceptions. That is a big miss, okay? Uh, big time miss because currently they don't catch tipped passes. So what is the consequence for throwing an aggressive catch? Nothing. That is a big problem and it needs to change. Hopefully they will. Hopefully the community will let them know that. Fixed an issue preventing the interception gameplay slider from significantly impacting the catch frequency for defenders. That might actually affect all Madden gameplay, but I'm not sure. Fix the catching animation issue causing running backs to turn the wrong way on a catch. That is a big problem. Yes. Okay, great. Great. So they kind of tuned the catching animation so that the receivers would actually catch the wide open passes, which was one of my big frustrations with freeform passing is I would freeform it and they wouldn't, they, they, it literally would not animate. So um, we'll see how this changes that. Fix the catching animation, preventing receivers from attempting a catch, asking for a rack catch. I don't, that's not a big deal to me. Uh, fix the catching animation issue, causing the receiver to use an effort catch on a catchable pass. Um, I think they talked about this yesterday. Um, I think this just means like when you have those wide open streaks over the top, I think there was times where like the receiver just would like spaz out at the end of the catch. I think they fixed that. Okay. And that's what I think, which is good. Uh, fix the catching animation issue causing receiver to sometimes use possession catch when requesting a rack. Don't care. Uh, fine. Fix an issue preventing defenders from playing a knockout in some situations where one was being requested. This is the most important piece of this note. I don't know how this affects aggressive catches. We will be testing that out. We'll have videos as soon as possible for you guys on that. If this means that when we put it on play receiver, they'll just knock the ball out in aggressive catch scenarios, best patch ever. It, we'll see how this works. Um, this could be a very, very big statement. Okay, very big statement. All right, ball carrier and tackling. Fix an issue sometimes causing ball carriers to juke in the incorrect uh, direction. Uh, I actually experienced that a lot, so maybe it's just because I'm not very good with the stick. But uh, anyway, fix an issue allowing ball carriers with no stamina remaining to engage in stand-up tackles. Uh, I don't know. Uh, that just means, I guess, they, yeah. Okay, so basically if they're out of energy, they're going to tackle them. Updated stand-up tackle indicators to provide feedback in more appropriate locations based on the mode and camera view being used. I'm not really. That's no big deal. Tuning to the juke and hurdle combo animations to ensure the height and speed of the animations is appropriate. Um, interesting. We'll see what that means. Basically, I think what that means is the jurdle and the juke. I think this just means they're going to tune those. Tuning to pursuit when using the strip ball mechanic to reduce oversteering the defender away. This actually is very good. So strip ball, like when you try to go. So if you hit RB when you're trying to tackle, that'll strip the ball. Maybe this is back. This used to be a really big thing in Madden 12. This game literally feels like Madden 12 with the Ags right now. Um, okay. Pre and post play. Fix an issue sometimes causing the ball carrier. I don't care. Fix the rear issue. Uh, this actually is a... I'm glad they fixed that. Uh, fix an issue causing players to improperly switch positions before the play. I don't know. I don't feel like I had that issue. Fix an issue allowing the offense and unlimited hot rots without the QB playing. Uh, this kind of sucks. I wish they wouldn't have done that. Um, because it just, I mean, it's okay. Like, it's okay. I, I feel like it was unnecessary. Uh, basically, whenever you motion receiver, you would get unlimited hot routes. Now, um... You're not. Fix the stadium issue causing media members on the sidelines. I don't care. Uh, okay. Last little bit here. Fix an issue causing the roar of the crowd. No thanks. Fix an issue allowing the offense to see the defensive zone art. Um, okay. Great. Glad we can't do that. Fix a rare issue causing the offensive coach cam to persist. Okay. Fix an issue sometimes causing... Ah, here we go. Fix an issue sometimes causing fade routes to break after a long animation by the defender. I'm trying to figure out what that means. I think it means that they would stop running the streak, which I did. I feel like that has happened to me. Uh, so good. Fix an issue causing the safety in a curl flat assignment to motion out wide with a halfback motioned 
to an outside receiver position, this is actually super underrated fix. Um, I think we're going to be going to more of a zone meta, which is why Big Nickel over G I think is going to be really powerful. Um, this right here is great. Um, let's see, fix it. Uh, they didn't say they tuned man coverage. I got one other thing to show you on this. Uh, fix it. We'll get into it in another video. Fix an issue causing the rushing averages shown in next gen, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Presenting past conditions, not too concerned about this stuff. Franchise, I don't play franchise, so have fun figuring that out. Um, and then all of these updates here. So if you guys want to check this out, link is in the description. I'm going to go get some other stuff for you guys. We're going to jump to practice mode, test all this stuff out. These are kind of my initial thoughts to the patch, and we got more stuff coming for you today. Make sure you're subbed up to the channel. Notifications are turned on. That way you don't miss any of the videos. If you want to get the ebooks, we're going to be updating all those ebooks with this brand new patch. This is the biggest patch the game will get all year long. So this form of the game, we're reaching kind of to a degree the final form of Madden 23. So we've got a lot of content for you guys coming here in the next couple of hours. Make sure you're on the channel, and uh, we'll get on the stick. See you guys.